Hey guys, welcome back to more Paper Mario. This is Madame Mario, and we are still in Bowser's Castle, about to enter another tediously... Well, this part's not too tedious, I guess, but... Um, yeah, about to enter another round of tedious random side quests for keys and such. Um... Now, what's over here? I always forget what's over here, but... Oh yeah, and I did it wrong the first time. It's the same exact puzzle as we saw last time. And of course, yes, it's to get a key. I don't know why they're in such random places. I mean, why don't you get a keychain or something to keep all your keys in instead of hiding them in random little rooms? That's what I wonder. Bowser, what is wrong with you? So that one's not as tedious, I guess. Um, it's only one room, but... Oh! So much back and forth action in this part of the game, I swear. And here, if you look at the background, up, down, down, up, down, up. That is your pattern for this next part. If you are familiar with the original Super Mario Bros, you know that one castle where you have to get the pattern right to move on, and when you do, it'll go da like. Okay, you can move on, you did it right. And if not, you're constantly starting over at the beginning going, What? We just saw this. Why is th this taking so long? And then you hear, da -da 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 and you're like, I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, that's this part. You gotta follow the pattern of those lights in the background to get it right. Which was a very creative way to twist that into this game, I always thought. I loved that aspect. But the first time I did this, the first time I played through this, um, you know what? This actually might have been the part that, uh, when my sister had to play this game for me that I did not see ever until the, until the next time I ever played through this game, because this was the part that was foggy. And I don't know if I shared that story a couple times ago, my memory is not working at the moment, apparently, but... Yeah. So yeah, when I first played this castle ever, there was a part I missed because I had to leave and my sister had to... Um, had to save, you know, find a save spot so I could continue later. And she had to play through a certain part I didn't see, and I don't know if I shared that or not, but I'll just go ahead and repeat that for now. So we got to beat the Living Daylights out of Peach and explode her, and after a bit of confusion, as I couldn't remember what in the world I was supposed to do, um, yeah, she follows you when you walk the opposite way, and when you notice she's not following you, you turn around and she's a dupli ghost, so... Yeah, but it's kind of fun beating her up. That's why I blew her up and stuff. And he wasn't difficult. And here we have the last part of the entire castle. And it seriously sucks, because right when you think something awesome is about to take place, something sucky takes place. If you had Koopa Bros, this is what I'm talking about. I bet you never thought you'd see us again, huh, Mario? Do you remember who we are? Tch, no. What? I just said we're the Koopa Bros. So we haven't seen them in a while, but there they are. Why Bowser would ever get them to guard anything again, I don't know. So they've increased their powers, and now they're not just the Koopa Bros, they're the super ultra mighty Koopa Bros, the Great. Uh, two explanation points. Oh, God, why does this happen? I mean it, you would think he would stay frozen in that block, and he doesn't. He comes back. My god. And I believe he's got 70 HP. So battle takes a minute or two, but... Or in my case, it takes like, you know, four minutes. <laughs> I think. Um, but yeah, he's not incredibly difficult. The only sucky thing about him is that he will... He'll, he'll heal himself at certain points, like he'll give himself 10 HP, which can be annoying, because i that's one of the moves I absolutely hate in any game. A game like this, I can't stand it. Pokemon, again, I know I keep bringing that up, different things I 
find obnoxious about Pokemon, but they're really, like, similar in certain aspects for that. And, yeah, just like, you know when you'll be battling someone and it's like, this person used a super potion, and then they're all the way healed again, and you were so close to having them faint. Oh, that is just a, a lie. I, I get so angry at that. It sucks worst when it, like, ends up killing you, though. Because you ran out of stupid stuff, and you would have had them dead, but you didn't because the game sucks. So yeah, I, I despise that a lot. <sighs> Shoot! That was a lovely catchphrase. There he goes with his Hogwarts wand again. He didn't get into Hogwarts. He's... No. What is it? He's probably part of the Death Eaters. Oh well. So we're gonna body slam him because I ran out of FP, if you didn't notice that already. See? There he goes. I hate that. That is so annoying. I don't understand. And I didn't have, like, anything good. So... yeah. I don't even think I ended up using any- oh yeah, I did. I used a Super Shroom. Just to be safe, because I didn't know how close we were to the end. I had nothing for FP. I really regretted throwing away that maple syrup. But I couldn't do anything about it at this point, so... And I still didn't want to use one of my really good items. I wanted to save that for Bowser. If possible. Okay. I wonder if you could... no. But, but that would be epic if you could use up and away on... On this Koopa, I just turn him into a star and it's... it's over. That would be epic, but... you know, that doesn't work on Junior Troopa, so... Whatever. Does this guy come back in TTYD? Because if he does... Oh... That's horrible. That is just so rude. I've actually never played TTYD, and a lot of you... Um, when you comment, you... Uh, I'm guessing you're assuming I have. Not all of you, but some of you do. And I actually haven't ever played that, no. I'm too big on the very first one. I'm such a dork. So, yeah, I, I haven't, honestly. Um, the one sister I told you about a couple times one that failed at the Koopa Bros the first time she ever tried to battle them, <laughs> and I still make fun of her for it. She beat TTYD a while ago, like a few years ago, but I never, never played it, so. And that's the end of Junior Troopa for the entire game! Yay! Everyone celebrate! Gosh! Um. Oh my god, I said um and he said um. How appropriate. No, you beat him. He beat them, but they didn't actually. He's so confused. Uh, it's too confusing. Okay, fine. Alright, so this is the last thing we go through. You actually don't get to beat the Koopa Bros again, though, which I was always sad about, because I loved them. So you can go through his face now. And go up this lovely, lovely staircase that you're like, oh god, what's at the end of this? <sighs> oh my god, we've been here before with Peach! It's- I love how it's silent right here. Alright, we're officially to Peach's Palace. I'll see you guys next time live to enjoy Peach's Castle.